So in Customity, when we are creating a product base, we can set up multiple variants depending on the type of product we want to create. If we want to create uh, a product that will have multiple colors, what we will do is add the images of that product in that many colors. But when we want to add size, that is different. And for that, we're going to create a new product base. This <clears throat> product base, we're going to assume that each, um, each size will entitle a different print file. So uh, because it will entitle a different size in the print as well as on the product itself. So I'm going to create a new product base. We're going to call this um, this t-shirt three colors, three sizes, right? And let's say we have our understanding that uh, our, our particular t-shirt will have three sizes, kid, uh, teen, and adult. And for the kid, the print area will be, for example, 20 by 20 centimeters, right? So we're going to create that print area right away. We will print in PNG 300, and we can jump to the next stage. And in the next step, we are going to set up the preview. And the preview, if you recall, is by adding product images. So we're going to add product images. And for that, we have these three images here. When we pick three images, we are establishing, or we can establish, three color variants. Whenever the three images are here, we can grab the print area and we can adjust this like this. So it's going to be, uh, in relation, will be 20 by 20 centimeters is what we establish for the kill size. OK? Now let's click Done and Next. And when we are ready to save this product base, we are always prompted, what do we want to do about the variant? Now we have three variants. Uh, we can rename this as um, black, gray, white. And before we save, we can add another print size. And that's very important. So by clicking here, we are populating uh, our size variant for this particular product. So right now we have an existing size of 200 by 200. The teens will have uh, 25 by 25, uh, 250 by 250. So our print area will adjust to that new size and we can click next and we can even, uh, and we can set up our print area to show the way we want on the preview as well like that. The product images are already here because we are carrying the information from the original size. We are just adjusting this because probably the print size will be slightly bigger, OK? And we can click Done, Next. And again, we save, and we add another variant for the size. This one will be for the adult. So we are going to change this to 300 by 300. And that will be our last variant. The print area will adjust, of course. And we can click Next to adjust the print area and try to make it slightly bigger because this should be like the biggest size for, uh, for adult. Sometimes if the size of the product will change along with the print, probably the proportion will be the same. But it's that's something that you, as the owner of this product base, will be able to establish. Once we are done and we save this product base, we are going to have three color variants and three size variants. And whenever we create a new product out of this product base with any design, what will happen is Customity will create three different templates and will create the instructions. So whenever you pick on a size variant, the right template will show up because each template will have a different print size. So if we go to start and we create a new product and we pick our product base and we try to go for this is the uh, t-shirt three colors right and we pick you see 
here are the variants we have created. We have the colors and the sizes. And we click Next, and we put a design. Let's put a, a really simple design, something we can easily um, we can easily uh, create right away. You will see that the end result will be um, a design on and three images that you will change. They will change with the color variant and three templates that will load depending on the size variant. Each template will print in 200 by 200, 250 by 250, and 300 by 300. That's how you add multiple size variants to your product page.